as of 829, I'm giving my top 10 strongest Wano characters. Why? Because, well, I really don't think anybody's going to get a dramatic power boost after this. I think we're at the climax, and if anybody does get stronger, more likely than not, the 10 people who are on my list, they're probably, it's just the order that's going to change. In my opinion, um, now, like I said, this is going to probably be a little controversial. Um, it's going to be based off of feats, portrayal, and what I expect from them. I don't think every single person has gone all out yet. Um, specifically, probably Kid um, and, I guess, Marco a little bit, who are going to be on this list. And I want to put them in a proper place and that I would put them. But I don't want to ramble too long. So, without a way, my name is Potential Unleashed. And here are the 10 strongest characters in the Wano War right now. And I guess for an honorable mention, we can have Queen. Um, Queen has so case to be able to land some hits on Big Mom. He also took some attack for Big Mom. King, I mean not King, Queen has showcased a lot of durability. Um, has been going against Sanji in the manga. And has been holding his own. Hasn't lost a region chapter. He said, hey, if you're going to attack me, you better put your back into it. And that they are the calamities because of their strength and their durability. But the number 10 spot on my list comes in as Sanji. I'm gonna be honest with you, in terms of everything, I think Sanji is the most underappreciated, not just Straw Hat, but character in One Piece. What he's done in the Wano War so far, he low diffed page one. Um, Sanji, he can't really use the right suit properly, and the reach chapter he said it after the second time he used it, the first time against page one, second time in the bathhouse. He said that his body has fell off. Now, what does that mean? Is it mean that he's unable to use it because he's mutating and that, I guess, him being a failed experiment is finally pushing uh, its limits and now he's about to go through a change? Or is it that his body cannot take the impact of what the raid suit actually has to offer since he's not genetically modified? I don't know. But Sanji has held his own against King and Queen without using the raid suit, has gotten a lot of hits in on Queen without the raid suit, and I think once he puts on the raid suit, that's when it gets out of business. That one is when he is going to defeat King. I mean, not King. Why do I keep saying that? Uh, defeat Queen? And I cannot wait to see how he incorporates the Diablo Shambo with the raid suit. If I'm being honest, I don't think he can beat Queen without it, but he certainly can beat him with it. Coming in at number 9, we have Trafalgar Law. Law is hard, man. His Devil Fruit is broken, but useless at the same time, because Ash showcased on the rooftop with hockey. It's kind of funny, kind of the lost hat on, but he wasn't able to move Big Mom and Kaido because their hockey was too strong. But he, the way that he assisted everybody on the rooftop, Zoro, Law, um, not Zoro and Law, Zoro Luffy, he was able to transport them when needed. He was able to teleport everybody when Conquest of the Sea happened, and now he is fighting Big Mom. We know Law's crew is horrible. His crew is useless. I think, what, Beppo his, is his vice captain, and Beppo, I don't even know what Beppo has done during the war. So, for Law to be, I hope Law can showcase a little bit more. I think the strongest attack that he's used, he used his counter shot, and he used his... Um, I forget what it's called. His Gamma Knife, he used that on Kaido. But hopefully he gets some feats in against Big Mom. But I do believe that he is able to take down Queen. Take down probably people like Doflamingo, Jack, etc. I think this is where the controversy comes in. At number 8, I have King. I understand why people will get upset. I'm not going to understand why they have him higher. But King, I think, is the weakest. The first commander has been the least impressive. Um, in the recent chapter, Zoro... Well, not the recent chapter. I guess 122, Zoro was able to get a Purgatory Onigiri on King. And in the recent chapter 123, King is fighting Zoro, where King was able to... Well, I, he didn't even get a hit in on Zoro. Zoro blocked it with um, his two sword or his mouth sword his third sword um king his sword it has these grates in it where it can take a swordsman sword from him and king doesn't consider himself a swordsman he kind of i'm not gonna say he fights dirty but he fights dirty um but king hasn't done anything i'm a little bit surprised maybe because of how strong and how they portray katakuri we're expecting more his design is dope but king he knocked down the big mom pirates that's about it nothing really impressive number seven i have used this kid you know, at the first time I read the Wano War and everything that was going on, I was like, man, Kid's been disappointing. But if I'm being honest, Kid has been pretty solid. If, you know, 
Um, he didn't really do anything as Kaido, but even though that's his vengeance, his fight is with Big Mom. He was able to use Repel on her, was able to get a Punk Gibson on her, and Kid is fighting Big Mom now. Hopefully in the next chapter we get to see it. I want to see Kid, he is a Conqueror's Hockey user, so I want to see him and Big Mom use Conqueror's Hockey. We know that Kaido and Luffy, they were fighting with Conqueror's Hockey coded attack. So maybe in his fight against Big Mom, Kid will figure out how to code his attacks in Conqueror's Hockey. And he'll be able to fight Big Mom with that. Oh, and also the reason why I have Kid over King is because he fought Kaido. Um, and it was on the rooftop. And he also has Conqueror's Hockey. And we don't know if King has Conqueror's Hockey or not. Number six, I have Yamato. I was tempted to put Yamato above Zoro simply because Yamato is fighting Kaido one on one. Where, granted, granted, Luffy, Zoro, and them, they fought two Yonkos at the same time. That is way harder than fighting one at the, one a 105 and a 215, which is, I know the numbers say what it is. That's completely different. But Yamato is fighting Kaido one on one. She's in her hybrid, or he's in his hybrid, and Kaido is in his hybrid. So they are clashing the. Uh, I forget the attack, but Kaido did Blash Breath, and then Yamato, he did an attack similar to that, cancel each other out, going blow for blow. So, simply because he is going blow for blow and has shown to hold his own against Kaido in hybrid, his strongest form, I gotta give him credit, and I gotta put him over Kid. This is another controversial one. And a lot of my, I don't think these are set in stone. I think they can easily change and i could see why people would disagree with what i'm saying but for number five i have marco now marco was able to hold off king and queen by himself for a while i believe marco's bounty is in the 1.3 billion range i know there's an exact number but i don't remember i know king's bounty is supposed to be revealed in the sbs i believe queen's is about 1.3 so more likely not king's is higher but just because Marco was able to hold them off two on one or one on two was impressive. Um, what he did against Kizaru was fighting him one on one for a minute. Um, Marco, he doesn't get a lot of love. I think he's one of the strongest. Him, Ben Beckman, and somebody else on this list are one of the strongest first commanders in One Piece. And I think four and five, you can interchange them. I don't have a problem with this. It might be slight bias because Zoro is my favorite anime character, but I spoiled it. Number four, I have Roa Noah Zoro. Zoro, what can I say? He's just been a a menace and just going crazy and wanna diff low diffing these supernovas. What he did against Kaido scarring Kaido, uh Desmond's game, blocking Ocean Sovereignty Blast. Um he has flame rank and cut fire. Now he's going against King and at his entrance, the Purgatory Onigiri on King. Zoro is related to the well we I guess you can kind of say it's been confirmed, not really confirmed with asterisk, related to the Shimazuki clan, meaning he's Ryuma's descendant. Just everything that Zoro has done, I'm surprised he's done as much, and he's not even done. Um, if he defeats King right here after, I know he did recover, um, so he can fight, but it, when he defeats King, I think Zoro is the second strongest first commander character. Number three, we have Luffy. If you want to argue he was more impressive than Zoro on the rooftop, I won't stop you. I think Zoro was, but hey, I can see the narrative there. Luffy, Red Rock, um, Ryo, uh, what else does he have? Future Sight. He can coat his attack in Conqueror's Hockey. He was fighting Kaido one-on-one -on -one in base. We didn't see him use Snake Man. Didn't see him use Bounty Man. Gear 3rd or Gear 2nd when it was one-on-one. -on -one. No, in base. Now, granted, he probably did use some stuff off-screen. I don't know. But Luffy has been so impressive, man. I, I just want to see how he incorporates his Conqueror's Hockey Coded Attacks, Rio, and Gear 4th with Future Sight. I want to see him incorporate all four of those things at once so I can really see how strong Luffy truly is. Number two, we have Big Mom. I think Big Mom's the third strongest Yonko. I think it was Kaido. Ooh, dang, I kind of spoiled number one, but it is what it is. I think it's Kaido, Shanks, Big Mom, and then Blackbeard. Blackbeard's a little... I, I can't really scale him because we haven't really seen him. Blackbeard... Could probably be the second or first strongest Yonko, but hey. Um, Big Mom was able to take out Killer, Zoro, and everybody with Lightning fairly easily. One shot at page one. Um, Queen wasn't a match for her as well. Um, the only person... We also saw her clash with Kaido and fight with Kaido for a little bit. Kaido was the only one who could probably beat her. Maybe Akainu and other military members. Not really, but maybe them. Um, but Big Mom, 
hasn't done much she's been more of a role player but we know her strength and we know the fear of what a yanko can do and number one we have kaido kaido one shot at luffy before he had rio um took out kid killer um what else has he done kaido was giving the people trouble uh, knocked out luffy with rag uh, ragnaraku um what else has he done he's fighting yamato took out the kaiza nine Kaido, they say he's the strongest creature. I personally think he's the strongest pirate and the strongest character in One Piece, but hey. But yeah, Kaido, he's been impressive. And there we have it. Those are who I believe are the 10 strongest in Wano. Like I said, there are some people who can go up and down depending on what happens in a later chapter, but let me know if you guys agree or disagree with me in the comment section below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys never miss a new video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. It's on the screen in the description below. Thank you guys so much, so much for watching. And don't forget to unleash your potential.